Welcome everybody to our Saturday Zoom class. Today the focus is weight loss with whole body vibration and I'm so happy to see you all here. This is really great. I love doing this with you and hearing from you about your successes and trying to help you with your problems. So um, we are going to have regular classes every Saturday 11 o'clock and we'll cover all kinds of different subjects. So please join me. There'll be a schedule up on my website. I send out emails to let you know, and I'm on Facebook. Like me on Facebook, follow, follow me there. Um, check my schedule, this, my, my website, or send me an email if you have to. Uh, and I'd love to hear from you what you're looking for, if you need something else, how you enjoyed the class. In fact, if you can go to Facebook and respond there about how the class was. That's great. We'd love to hear from you there. Uh, let's see. Today, um, I would love to start with some success. Is there anybody out there how are you doing with recovering from COVID, getting ourselves back on track, maybe losing a little weight, but feeling more energized? Anybody got some success they can tell us about? Who's doing, got something going? Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's either place is fine by me. Who is this? Does somebody want to somebody tell us what's going on? Anybody having, uh, feeling better? Have you been doing your uh, vibration? Have you been doing the yeah. interval training? Are you feeling stronger? Yeah. Becky, I'm, I, my energy level is totally up now from what it was. <laughs> Before oh, your and one week on my new team, the 1000, it's just wonderful. Can you say that again? Because the sound quality wasn't good. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why, but the my energy level is way up. I've been using the 1000, which came, you know, I've had it one week. Yeah, now. right. And what a difference from the old machine that I had, which wasn't this and uh -huh. wasn't yours. Uh, my energy level is phenomenal. Um, my attitude and I'm sleeping better. So I mean, everything, everything in your books, of course, I read the first one. I'm now reading this, the other book, uh -huh. the seniors. So it's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. I, I don't know, know what to say to people. It's I'm <laughs> eating better. I'm losing weight. I'm working. Out, I'm sleeping better. My energy is good. So where do you go from here? Yeah. <laughs> no, we're right up. That's and just my, awesome, my husband, who would never go near any a, a vibrating machine, uh, tried it for one minute because he had read in the book that you had a testimonial from a gentleman who had knee surgery and couldn't run and such, a doctor. Right. And Joel tried it for one minute, came up and said, I did it. You know? <laughs> That's so great. You're rubbing off on the whole family, girl. <laughs> Oh, all right, all right. That's what we like. Just spreading like wildfire, right? Amen. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for, for participating. Uh, anybody else got a story of how they're doing? Anybody else? Okay. So what we got is a bunch of people who also want to feel great. Is that is that what's going on? All right. So uh, we are going to do some interval training. Today, I'm going to also give you uh, some special tips for trying to get our weight under control. Uh, number one is use your whole body vibration machine, okay? And use a vibrant health whole body vibration machine because these, my machines are very carefully made to have the best effect, not only for your muscles, and your metabolism and working out, giving you a good workout, but for your brain, okay? Your brain directs your whole body and your life. It's really critical. We think we all know this, right? You gotta have your brain working at its highest level to have a high quality life. So um, it's something I really had to focus on because I had very poor health. And if you're trying to heal your body, you've got to heal your brain and your brain guides your body. So you wanna get your brain, what's really fantastic about the vibration is it's this massive stimulation of your brain. And just like, you know, your muscles get bigger and stronger when you work out, 
when you're on your vibration machine, 20 to 50 times per second, every neuron, and you got millions of neurons, everyone is firing into your brain the same rate that your machine is vibrating. It's 20 to 50 times per second. That's like 3,000 impulses from every single neuron into your brain every minute. And maybe you're on there 10 minutes. We're talking millions and millions. Just, it's massive. So it wakes your brain up and it causes your neurons to get stronger and thicker and connect to other neurons, which is connected to intelligence. So you can actually get smarter doing this. Uh, and phenomenal, the, like Doreen Reed was saying, like almost immediately her energy levels going up and her mood's improving. That's because it's working on an energetic level. And in the brain, neurotransmitters, serotonin, norepinephrine, are almost immediately going up. I can really see this in me because I've had so many years of problems, but I had major depression for 30 years. I used Western medicine, drugs, eventually got too sick for that. <coughs> then um, I was doing homeopathy, which is phenomenal. I'll tell you more about that later. But the vibration, adding that in, immediately energy goes up mood goes up then you can deal with your life right okay then you can start to think about i'm trying i want to lose weight but it's almost impossible to get anything done if you feel horrible uh, mentally you know so uh that's a huge benefit um also don't do too much vibration as doreen said i tell you do just one minute to start at the lowest speed gradually increase that's very critical for people with health issues, older people. You try to do too much too soon, you're likely to feel worse instead of better. Then you might say, oh, this is terrible. I don't want to do vibration and never go near your machine again, which would be a really a shame because it has huge potential to help you when you use it. All right, extra tips for how to lose weight. That's true. And I want to hear your tips too. I'll give you one of a couple of mine, and then I want to hear like what you guys do. So one thing I do, I don't go shopping when I try not to go shopping when I'm really hungry or depressed or otherwise upset because impulse buying. I don't like to have any foods in my house that I that are not good for me because it's you're going to have a moment of weakness. And then you're going to lose control. At least that's what happens to me. I lose control. I eat way too much of the wrong thing way safer just not to have it in my house. Uh, that was another one. Oh, really big, low carb guys. Low carb diets are just multiplying like mad. They're all over the place. We got the ketogenic, we got the Atkins, we got the eating on the zone, the South Beach diet. There's a lot of different you, low carb diets. Why? Because you work. You get backwards. Somebody needs to mute their button, mute their thing okay I, I just needed um, ipad dad yeah the ipads are tricky so you I, I, <coughs> if you have something to ask you can unmute yourself ipad dad okay so uh low carb guys doesn't mean no carbs at all although if you're incredibly motivated and you and you really feel like you really need it very very low carb diets can be extremely effective you don't want to stay on them forever but for a, a, like kind of a boost to get going, I'm talking about like a ketogenic diet. Used to be the Atkins diet was very popular, but that one is not as good at guiding you towards um, healthy fats. It's very important to eat. If you're gonna be eating low carb and more fats, proteins, and uh, like vegetables, Vegetables are great, obviously, but the fats, you want healthy fats. Those are really great for your brain. They get your hormones working. They're important building blocks for your hormones. So um, I have numerous people who do really well on the ketogenic diet. There's also, there's amazing number of different kinds of things you can do with what you eat that will help you lose weight. There's things called, there's something called intermittent eating where you like don't, you eat for seven or eight hours during the day, and then you don't eat at all for the rest of the day, the rest of the 24 hours, and then you eat again. And that can help some people a lot. Uh, raw foods diet, some people do really well with a food diet. And there is also, for highly, highly motivated people, 
there is a, it's called, um, it's like a fast, only it's not quite a fast. These are radical, okay? These are kind of radical approaches, but if you're stuck and you want to try, you really need something to get yourself going, there's a lot of different diet approaches that can be very effective. And they're actually good for you. It's not easy to do these things, but sometimes it's good to try them. Another thing that I'd highly recommend is checking out something called candida yeast. Candida yeast is a, it's a yeast it, that lives in your gut. And uh, it's kind of rampant in, our, in Western civilization because our lifestyle creates good conditions in our gut. We eat a lot of sugar, which feeds yeast. We take a lot of antibiotics, which kill good competing bacteria that should be in your gut. And we have a lot of stress. We don't get like, we don't get enough exercise. We have too much stress. All these things tend to weaken your immune system. This yeast is, um, it like, I forget what it's called. It, uh, it's normal to have a little bit in your gut, but it gets out of control. And when it gets out of control, it makes you crave sugar. Actually just eating sugar makes you crave sugar. And it causes you to retain weight. It causes depression, retain water. So it feels like you're gaining a lot of weight and bloating, oh my gosh. Think of when you make bread, right? And bread rises, a lot of gas involved, that's the bloating. And it causes so many problems, guys. I know what I'm talking about. I had one of the world's worst cases of yeast and I would have been on it for, I would have been trying to deal with that forever if I hadn't found whole body vibration and homeopathy and all these great, great things. So those are my tips. Uh, anybody else got some tips they want to tell us about how you deal with trying to lose weight? I'd love to hear some tips from you guys. Anybody finding good ways to, uh, what's your approach? You must have some kind of approach, right? You're trying to lose weight. What do you do? Becky, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hi, Mildred. Hi. I do the, I try to do the intermittent fasting. I don't eat right. after seven or eight o'clock in the evening until uh -huh. 10 o'clock okay. next morning. So that kind of helps me. Yeah. yeah. Still don't lose it as fast. Plus, I kind of try to stay away from the sweets too. Although yeah. I did just have a cookie though. <laughs> <laughs> and let me say, it's 11 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> to a good start. <laughs> but I normally don't do that. My daughter just my daughter has some cookies and she's doing a baby shower, so I just ask for a couple of cookies because I don't get a chance to eat them too often. Yeah. But I, I I love the intermittent fasting because it allows my body to heal itself. Yep, yep. It does. It gives your body a rest, and it can be very effective. Yeah. Um. Anybody else have any suggestions or? I yeah. Hi, Barb. Hi there. Um, I have a friend who died of Alzheimer's that long ago. So I got interested in brain health, and I read I read a couple books, but this book mentions the same thing that you did about intermittent fasting, low carb diets, and they've called Genius Foods is the name, and they want this medical doctor wants us to eat extra virgin olive oil. Yep. That's the healthy fats you talked about. Avocado, yep. berries. If you're going to eat chocolate, 85% chocolate, eggs, broccoli, or any of those types of vegetables, dark leaf greens, yep. grass-fed beef, wild salmon, and almonds. I found in doing this, my normal exercise and my vibration, I automatically lose weight. Fantastic. It's easy. Fantastic. And I'm That's taking awesome, care of my brain, huh? which is my big concern. I'd rather be fat and have a good brain, but being taking care of your brain kind of helps with that, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, that's just fantastic, guys. And, um, you know, that's the way it should be. I can't. You're eating right, you're doing your vibration, and you're exercising and taking care of your brain. You should be able to lose weight. Now, sometimes it's still really, really hard. I want to tell you about one more thing. Homeopathy, energy medicine. It is powerful stuff, guys. And I have a, I'm going to, Try to, let's see, chat, and I'm going to send you out all a name of a homeopathic remedy that is very classic. 
for being stuck and not able to lose weight. Okay, and I'll give you the potency that's a good one to start with and safe for people who have never done homeopathy or don't do it. Okay, whoops, hold on. I can't see my screen real well. All right, there it is. And how do I send this? Becky, does the homeopathy work when you just have five or eight pounds or, or just inches? Yes. Okay. Homeopathy works for uh, virtually everything. However, it's just critical that you find the right remedy. It has to be something that resonates with you, right? And that means mostly not just your, what's going on with your physical body, but what's going on with your um, uh, mental state. Really critical. That's where your energy is sort of created and expressed really powerfully. So if it's not resonating on that level, it's not going to work. Even though the physical thing, it's listing, oh, that's exactly me. No, it, there's a lot of remedies for all kinds of, for each physical problem. And they differ by what's going on in the mind. They've got to match on both the mental and the physical level. Then it's like when a singer hits the right note and a glass shatters, huge effect in the physical world. It's, it's amazing. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about Calcarea Carbonica. And if it sounds like something that uh, is the energy state that you are in, that's resonating with you, you could go out to any, home any store, natural health store that has homeopathic remedies will carry that one because it's very common. So it's made from oyster shells or mussel shells. And the, the source has, correlates to the energetic state. Mussels and oysters, they, they bond to like a rock, right, in the ocean, and they stay there forever. The Calcarea Carbonica is all about a person who loves to be at home. They just anchor themselves somewhere and they like being their homebody. And most ideally, they would love to kind of just hang out on the couch, watch TV and eat some high calorie snacks. That's me. Okay, <laughs> if that's describing you, I would highly recommend going to your natural health food store, get Calcarea Carbonica 30C and take four or five pellets twice a day and see if that helps get you moving it can uh it will have a lot of effects it will have give you energy it would help you lose weight um if you're feeling kind of depressed too it can help with that anxiety all kinds of things it will you're tuning your vibrations it may not work forever because what you're doing when you take a homeopathic remedy is you're letting go of the surface energy that it layers up like onion layers and uh, you let go the surface one, the next one comes to the surface. So it, if it's correct and you're taking it every day for a month, it'll likely work for about a month. And then it'll stop. Can working. you spell that, please? I, tech, I, I sent the name through chat. You should have it on your computer, on your screen, if you click on chat, maybe. But I can spell it for you. C -A, there's two words. C-A-L-C-A-R-E-A, -A -E calcarea. The second word is carbonica, carbon with the I-C-A, C-A-R-B-O-N-I-C-A. -A. Very Thank important you. to get the right potency. You want 30 C, three zero, capital letter C. If it says capital letter C, capital letter K, that's okay. Uh, it's the same thing. All right, guys, are you ready? We are... Coming up well, on one that. question. When you take this homeopathic, you just yeah. take it once a day? Uh, generally, at 30C, you take it twice a day. Twice a day. Now, guys, if it sounded just like you, but it's not working, it's actually, it probably means that there's another sort of hidden energy. And I, I'll tell you, many people are feeling a lot of exhaustion and... Um, sort of fatalism and uh, worry and anxiety about this COVID thing. It's like worldwide, it's this massively powerful energy in the world right now, and it's affecting a lot of people. So if you've been affected by that energy, which a lot of us have, you kind of have to deal with that energy first. So if your calcarea carbonica remedy doesn't work 
and you want to explore a little bit more, give me a call because I can help you with that energy, letting go of that sort of energy. But uh, that's not one I want to just give out. It's a little more complicated. And the other one is, is um, the motivation where we get distracted because we say we're, we're on it, we're going to do this. And then the mind goes, you know, we stay on it for a good couple of weeks and then all of a sudden are we're you, off. What are you talking about? The vibration or? No, just um, all the different actually parts in the homeopathic. Is there a remedy for helping oh, the mind stay on track oh. instead of getting you yes, know, there is. There is, there is a remedy, a homeopathic remedy for virtually everything on <laughs> in the universe. It's unbelievable. I consider it the uh, the uh, I forget what the word is. Einstein's theory of not relativity, but a complete <laughs> universe understanding of the whole universe. There's, it's related to every aspect of life. So could yeah. you please could you please tell me uh, the dosage again? Thirty C, and you're taking four to five pellets twice a day. Do Thank not you. drink coffee after you take your remedy, or for a half an hour before. That uh, coffee and mint will stop it from working. You said just a half hour though. Half hour before, but not at all afterwards. Until shortly before you're going to take it again. So like you okay. can have your coffee in the morning, wait a half and brush your teeth, wait a half an hour, take your remedy, and then do that sort of routine again in the evening. Okay? You have a problem, let me know. I can help. How long do you have to wait after you take it before you can have coffee again? Not till an hour before you're going to take it again. That's ideally. It'll okay. stop, the coffee will stop it working whenever you take it. For like okay. a couple of days actually but it's okay because you're going to take the remedy twice a day so you can still have your coffee every morning <laughs> one more question before you... right yeah what? one more question um so one more. You, it. Only stay, you, you only stay on this for one month or do you can can you continue you can how does it work it. you can try staying on it but it may stop working mm -hmm. typically a homeo a lot of homeopathics will work for if you take it sort of intensively it'll take work for about a month and then it'll stop because that energy layer let go. You changed okay. yourself. Okay. And now there's going to be something else going on. Okay. So, okay. All right, guys. Um, we are starting our workout. Every week we're going to do a workout. That's good for everybody, right? Okay. Now, guidelines on this. Remember, you should be going at your own pace. Turn your machine on if you have one for just the amount that you know you can do. And if you... Um, don't have a machine you can do this routine on the floor and uh that's fine um you want to go gradually and i if each exercise we're going to have like easy versions and harder versions so that you can uh, adjust and do what's right for you okay listen to your body it loves you you love it it's have, that it needs you to love it needs you, your body and your mind need you to love yourself okay all right, we're starting with some stretches, Andy. Could you put up the stretches, please? All right. It's the same one as last time because this is the back stretch and a leg stretch at the same time, but that might be too hard for a lot of people, right? So I'm going to show you easier. That's a great one if you can do it, but don't fall down. Hold on to something if you need to, if you're trying that one. And there's all kinds of other things you can do. You don't have to uh, be bending over that far to stretch your back. My chiropractor told me a whole bunch of great back exercises. So let's start. We're going to do uh, two minutes of back exercises, okay, and leg exercises. So twist your body and put, clap, clasp your hands and pull with your arms to give extra push on your back. Feels really good in your shoulders and your lower back. And do the other side. Oh, that feels great. Doing that. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> All right. There we go. Very nice. Okay. And then um, another good back exercise is just to tip over to your side. Whoops. All right. And lean like this. Okay, nice for your back. 
Great for your arms. Stretch the other way. Very good. All right. Now, I'm going to clasp my hands in front of me and pull them apart, stretching, pulling them forward to my arms. That's getting my shoulders and my upper back. Now I'm going to do some neck exercises on each side, tipping my head gently. Yeah, I've been doing that. Back. Somebody is not muted and we can hear you. I don't know who that is. All right, and forward. And you can go around in circles with your head. There we go. Okay. All right. Keep going. I'm going to do a little bit of this one where you lean all the way over because it feels great. Okay. All the way down. And then I actually hold onto my plate, straighten my knees, and it just puts an amazing stretch. Then I also sometimes hold the front of the plate and lean tip back a little bit to stretch my shoulders. Oh, that feels good. Grand. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Really nice, guys. Okay, and maybe some shoulder rolls. And that was two minutes. Okay, let's see what the next stretch is that we've got that Andy hey. is going to show us. Do eggs? Somebody got a question? Yesterday we had just uh, toast and a half a banana. Okay, whoever's talking, please. Oops. Somebody's talking about what they had for breakfast, and I'd like you to mute yourself so we don't all hear that. Okay, thank you. All right, let's see. Next, Andy, I'm waiting for you to put up the next exercise. It's going to be some more arm stretches. I don't know where Andy went. Here we go. Okay. Uh, okay, these are arm stretches. You can either get down on the floor, but if that's difficult, you don't have to. You can do these standing up, okay? So look, look how easy you can just adapt things. There was one where she, had, she was on the ground and she was, had her, this part of her arms on the plate, right? And she's stretching and massaging that. Shoot your arm up like this and pull on it, right? With your other hand on your elbow, one side and the other side. Oh, that feels good. And then the other one that, she was, that we saw was one where she, had, she was sitting on the, on the plate, right? With her arms behind her, getting that pull in her arms. How about this? Just stand here, clasp your arms, and lift your arms up a bit. A great arm stretch there. We need to do this because we're going to do some arm work out right after this. Okay. Excellent. Nice job, guys. All right. A little few shoulder rolls. Get that loosened up, right? Okay. Today, Andy, you can move to the next one. Today, guys, we're going to look at the two different types of straps that come with the machine. We've got stretchy straps, and we've got canvas straps that are not stretchy. Andy, I'm waiting for Andy to put up the next picture. But what we have, we're going to, the first one we're going to do is beginner's pose. Okay, and there's two variations. One is with the straps. Those are the stretchy ones. And one is holding on to something. So you choose which one is better for you, right? Okay. Um, these stretchy straps, and my machine is not in a position where I can show you this maybe perfectly, but uh, you're going to hold your straps and pull up. Ready? And go. Okay. And now what's going on here is not only are your arms working hard at the same time as your legs, because you've got your legs bent and they're holding your weight, but by pulling on this, right, you're pushing, you're creating more work for your legs. You are amping up your, oh wow, up your exercise a lot. And if you're like pulling them way up like that, you're making it even harder. Of course, I'm cheating because I don't have my machine on, but if I turn my machine on, you can't hear me. So I get a break today on that. Okay, Andy, we're ready for the next one. Great, guys. So you saw how with the stretchy straps, you can pull and on them and make them longer. You know, you can 
change your position with them. Now the next one here, these straps that she's using here are not stretchy, okay? They're canvas and Velcro. They are, however, adjustable, so you can change them for whatever height you need. In this particular position, she's doing an exercise where she's standing on her machine and her arms are out to the side. Now, you know what? I think mine are a little bit short, so I'm going to lengthen them by pulling apart the Velcro and reattaching it a little bit longer, like that. And then, now I can get my arms up higher. That's good. Now I'm pulling on my shoulders up here a lot more, making myself work that way. And if you want, you can bend your knees, but you don't need to on this one. This could be like more of just a arm exercise. You pull hard and you're pushing down on your body. All right, ready? Here we go. And go. Now, if you stand up straight in this one, it's actually really good because in the straight position, the vibration, can you feel that vibration transmitting through your whole body all the way up into your head? When you got your knees straight like that, it transmits really well and that's great for bone density. That's causing every muscle fiber throughout your body to quiver against bone and that signals bone to increase bone density. My arms are getting tired. Whew. Okay. Nice job, guys. Getting our workout. By the way, we're doing Becky, interval training. Becky, the, yes. uh, on the Velcro straps, uh -huh. should they be the height of the hips or what is the what is okay. the ideal Let's height see. measurement? Depends for on the, the different uh, exercises, right? But you're right, mine are a little bit above. Like this feels good to me, and it's a little bit above my hip, I would say, just a little bit. Now, not when you've got your hands in, in here, it's way up by my waist, but out here, it's closer to just a hair above my hips. You know, again, it's gonna be personal taste also, and you can try some variations and see what feels good for you. Okay, I just haven't been able to figure out how to get the best effect because there hasn't been, um, any instructions on how to use the straps right. in various ways. So. Right, right. Well, look at the pictures in the poster that I sent you and try to copy that picture. And okay. that will give you pretty close guidelines, you know, on how to do it. Picture's worth a thousand words. Yeah. So study those photos. And you can come here and we can talk. Uh, yeah. wanted to mention we're doing interval training because it amps up the effect. So you're doing vibration, that makes it more powerful, your workout, much more powerful, 10 minutes equals the equivalent of an hour of conventional weight training. And interval training where we work out hard and then we rest a little bit, amps up your effect of your workout also. All right, Andy, I'm waiting for the next one. We're gonna do abdominals next. Interval training is 30 seconds working hard and then a minute, couple of minutes of resting. I don't mean sit and do nothing like I do when I'm talking to you. You should be keeping moving, like walking a little bit but um, not hard work. All right, these are abdominals. We got easy and hard. Easy on the left, hard on the right. Her feet are on the, on the floor, <coughs> making it much easier on the left. Let's try it. Everybody get in position. Do what you can. All right, I will show you both. Here I am, my feet are on the ground. I lean back, cross my arms. It's, uh, you know, you're making your abdominals work, so that's great. If you can, lift your feet up and hold them up, and you want to make it harder? Okay, guys, straighten those knees. That gets almost impossible. It's really, really, really hard. Ouch. Ugh. But I'm trying. Okay, and hold that. With your machine vibrating, you are burning calories like there is no end. You are amping up your metabolism. It's going to go all day. All right, good job. Whew. All right, Andy, what do we got next? I think we're moving on to the arms. Oh, okay, breathe, keep moving, like walk in place or turn. Okay, this is an easy abdominal. She's got her knees on the ground and you can do push-ups. She doesn't even have her back straight from her. You make it straight from your shoulders to your knees, it's harder. All right, let's give it a shot, guys. I'm ready. All right, here we go and go. 
I've got my knees on the ground. I'm going up and down. And that's a good workout. You know what? I'm feeling so strong. I'm going to try going up on my toes. That's super hard, guys, but I think I might be getting stronger. One, uh, two. Oh, this is hard. Three. Okay, back to my knees. Four, five. Whew. Okay, very nice job, guys. Uh, my dog's sick and I have to carry her around. I think maybe that's making my arms stronger. All right. Next, what do we got next? Arms, we're doing triceps dip next. Okay, that's gonna be the back of your arms. We just did the front, now we're doing the back of the arms. Okay, feet on the ground, your, your rear end is not on the floor, it's up, and your arms are on the plate holding you, and you lift yourself up and down, okay? Now, all of these, there's easier ways to do it. Here, I'll show you this. Right, that's the regular triceps dip. Too hard, you can sit on your plate, lean back, and just push yourself up and down like that. Most important thing, guys, is just to get on the plate, have it running, of course, and get that vibration into your body because it's not just a physical thing. It's working on your brain, it's working on your energy field, raising serotonin, giving you energy, all of that's going to make everything in your life easier. I have another question for you, Becky. When okay. the, the pressure on the wrist at the um, area of the thumb, yeah. um, when I hold my hands like that, it's pretty right. tough. Right. So is there another way I can do that tricep area? Hmm. Let's see. So you got like this and pressure on your thumbs. I would turn your hand. What about turning your hands? Okay, and yeah. The self, okay, see, I've got my hands pointing out. Okay. Now there's more weight on the, this side of my palm and less yeah. on my thumb side. And uh, maybe that would work a lot easier for you. You just go up and down. Okay. Okay. All right. Who's next? What's next? Diagonal crunches, guys. More abdominals. We're working the core muscles. That makes your stomach tight, helps your posture. All right, this is uh, diagonal crunches. She's got her opposite knee and elbow touching, trying to touch. You actually, it's almost impossible to touch them, so that's okay. You just do the best you can. We'll do 30 seconds on each side. We'll rest in between for 30 seconds also, okay? Here we go. All right, now I did it. What you wanna do is you put your hands behind your head, ideally. This is gonna be hard for a lot of people, so Put one foot on the ground and leave it on the ground if it's hard for you, okay? And if you can't do more than just like this, that's fine. All right, here we go. All right, that's one option right there. I've got both feet on the ground. If you can, lift this one up and touch your opposite knee and elbow. And if you can lift the other as well, fantastic. Oh, it's hard. It's hard and my machine's not even on. For those of you who have your machines on, good job, congratulations. Whoa, nice work. Hold it, hold it. Keep holding, guys. Five more seconds. And good job. All right, now, now we're into the resting slower phase. So just kind of move your legs up and down, right? Maybe keep stretching a little bit. We'll do this for 30 seconds. Moving a little bit, but not working out really hard. Just getting in some nice stretching. Oh, that does feel great. All right, getting ready for our next one. Switching sides. All right, now this time I'm doing this side. All right, let me see, like that. All right, ready? And go. All right, and both legs up if you can do it. Hold, hold. Okay, I can feel a burn. Imagine you can too. It's good to work out hard enough so you feel yourself really working. Nothing wrong with that. Ugh. Great, great, hang on there. We got five seconds, four, three, two, one. Ooh, Whew. okay, nice job. Great job, guys. All right, I think we have only one more real workout and then we're gonna pose and then we're gonna do massages. Nice reward at the end of our workout. What do we got, Andy? Okay, this is like a balance pose, but it'll take muscles to do this too. 
So if it's hard for you to balance, hold on to something and stand on one foot, okay? Like that. Pretty easy, but you could try lifting your hand up a little bit. See this hand? Taking it off quickly. All right, and we're going. We're going to start now. All right, so that's one, but you got your hand ready to grab if you need to. Uh, and then the other one was, she had her leg out behind her and her hands like this, right? That's pretty awesome. I like this. You feel like you're flying. Ooh. Okay, that's really tough. And I don't have the machine on. Right, here we go. Ready? Keep going. Nice. Nice. Good job. All right, great. Fantastic, guys. Good job. We're doing uh, massages now. Rest and relaxation. Just feeling good. All right, Andy, what do we got? Whew. I think we're doing arm massages first. All right. This is the same one as before. It's both stretching and massaging because the vibration does actually all of those things at once. Massage, stretch, and workout. These are particularly stretching and massage. So choose which one you want or try both. I'm going to sit here and let the vibration go up my arms or imagine it anyway, going up my arms. I'm stretching. So just enjoy, relax. If you keep your back straight, again, that vibration goes right through your body, which is really good for bone density. You want to do at least five minutes every day where you're getting good bone density effect. Build up your time though, don't try to rush. There's time. Okay. Good. All right, you did some arm massaging. And the last one is gonna be a leg massage. Andy will put it up. And there's two choices. You can do either calf massage or thigh massage. So I think I'm gonna do the thigh massage where I sit on the plate, I put my thighs on here, and I lean back, and just relax. If you wanna do your calves, it's fantastic. Put your hands behind your head. I just don't really have enough room here, but it is incredibly relaxing. That is probably my very favorite pose. I love it. And this feels great. Okay. All right, here we go. A little bit more. Very good. Very good. I'm stretching my shoulders still at the same time. All right. Nice job. Congratulations, everybody. You have done another interval training workout on your vibration machine. And let's see. I uh, did want to mention that. Um, one more thing that's great for losing weight is now that you're feeling better because you're doing some vibration and you've got more energy and your pain levels are down, would be to get outside or inside if you need to and get more exercise. It's hard to get too much exercise, guys. Uh, if you're feeling good, better, especially aerobic, and keep the interval training thing going. So I go outside and I'd go biking, especially in the summer. Every summer I get in shape. Every winter when I can't go outside and go biking, I have more trouble. So uh, I have an indoor bike. Just doesn't get as inspired when I'm indoors. So I don't do it as much and I don't do it as long. But outdoors, I get in this cycle of doing intermittent, of intermittently like working really hard and then resting and coasting and then working really hard and then coasting. It's kind of natural for me on a bike. So uh, if you can find something where you get outside and do some aerobic exercise, go for a walk, ride your bike, um, go swimming. Exercise is great, guys. Get your body. Your body is designed for exercise. <clears throat> so one of the huge benefits of vibration is that it helps you feel good enough to get more exercise. Okay? All right. I want to open this up to questions. Does anybody have a question about your machine, how to use it, um, weight loss? This yes, I have a question. Right. One of my stretchy straps broke. 
How do I get it replaced? Okay. Email me. We have some replacement straps. Uh, also, I saw, what time you close today? also, I saw you had um, something to hold on to the what do I in the front. Oh, this, yeah, this tower. Okay. Just we so have a new I'm tower. Off, Andy, want to put the um, cell phone vit, uh, picture on? This here is what she's talking about. Something to hold on to. This tower is new for the Power 1000 plate. It's... Um, really handy and it, if you already have a plate that's okay you can get this separately and add it on to your plate okay it's been designed so it will work with older plates as well as the new batch that was designed to go with this so just email me about that you can buy them actually you can buy it directly on my website and you could uh call me and ask me about it call me and order it directly or go on the website and buy it um my posters are there, the books are there, the machines, and this new balance tower for people. Okay, another question? Anybody else? Becky, to, yeah. uh, for bone density, you uh -huh. were saying five minutes is like a minimum for that and work well, up for more? Yep, go ahead. So, yeah. I should, in increasing the, uh, okay, the, the speed of yep. what we're going, should I be increasing my time on it first? What, and then Yes, yes. Okay. What I would recommend is you, that people start with the lowest speed on these machines, which is 26 hertz for the Power 1000 machine. It's uh, a little bit faster for the Gentle 500 because that one's a lower amplitude. Right. But that, this one is the better one for bone density. So if you have this, <laughs> great. Start at the lowest speed on whatever machine you have. And gradually build your way up to at least 10 minutes at the lowest speed. Then you go up one speed level. Okay. And when you go up one speed level, you drop the time back down. Not to gotcha. zero, not to one, but go drop it down to like four or five minutes. Gotcha. Just to see how you do, because changing the speed has a bigger effect than changing the time. Okay. It's, it's pretty powerful when you change the speed, and you might find that it, it was too much for you if you just went from 10 minutes at 26 hertz to 10 minutes at 27 hertz. Okay, a lot of people can Im increase a lot faster than I did, so uh, that's great. Good for you. I'm happy for you. But there's a huge range in how people respond to vibration. It depends on your health and your constitution, your age. Like, are you a person who can, is very hearty and can tolerate a lot? You kind of, you know, you, you know yourself if you're like that. You, you tend to be strong and not have a problem with things. But some people are very sensitive and more fragile and need to go really slowly. That was me. So it took me years to get up to the highest speed, 10 minutes at the highest speed. Most people, hopefully much faster. And I had one guy, he got up to 10 minutes at the highest speed in one month and he had some health issues and he was 60 years old, but his constitution was really strong. As opposed to me, I'm like a flower, <laughs> very fragile, delicate, but, but, but beautiful, <laughs> right? There's, everybody's got their strengths. Okay, uh, any more questions? Uh, hello, Dave's hey. here. Hi, how you doing? Good. Uh, what about three o'clock in the morning? You, you wake up thinking about the world situation. You can't sleep. So I've jumped on the machine and I can't tell you yes or no if it's better or not. I just thought the extra oxygen would help me sleep again. Yeah, yeah. Well, what do you, think of that? Of, it, you can certainly try it. Some people that's going to help. It can help, like sometimes people have tight muscles or muscle cramps in the middle of the night and you could try a little vibration for that. You could help anything kind of, when you can't sleep, anything that takes you out of your mental state that you're in, you know, the thought pattern that you're in at the moment can be helpful. So um, vibration is really good at helping calm your mind and take you out of the pattern you're in. Uh, I would also say homeopathy can be really helpful for 
things like that. And the world, of course, is a very stressful place these days. So thank I you. understand. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else got a question for me? You, mess it, you mentioned muscle cramps. I get cramps in my feet. In your feet? Yes. Okay. Uh, Would standing on the vibrating machine help that? Yes. And uh, if you have um, not gotten up to very much time on the plate yet, if you're kind of new to this and you can only do a little bit because you, you, we all need to go slowly and follow our body, right? If anything's getting worse, you want to consider that possibly the, that you're doing too much vibration and you need to do a little bit less. But anyway, for you, if you uh, are having that problem and you haven't got up to a lot of time yet, sit in a chair next to it and just put your feet on there. That way you can get more vibration into your feet without getting it all into your whole body, which will have like, you know, a big effect on your body, your whole system. You, we want to target your feet. So uh, you could try that for sure. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. I There's all question. kinds of ways to target different areas. We'll have a session on that at some point. That'll be, that's like physical therapy and it's in my seniors book. There's a part of a chapter nine is about how to use whole body vibration for physical therapy. And there's a bunch of pictures of ways to target different spots. Okay. I have a question. I'm gonna say yeah. thanks to Becky. It's, it's really nice um, to hear you talk about it. For those of us who are auditory, you know, learners and social, it's really fun to be on here. And, and Thank you. How the dialogue going? Thanks. <laughs> I'm really, really happy that it's helping you guys and having a lot of fun with it too. It's great to be needed and wanted. I feel like um, uh, Sally Field. They like me. <laughs> anyway, what else? Any other questions? I have a question um, about <clears throat> a guide. Just guessing our capacity or evaluating that as we're strengthening more and more. I've always been what I think of as a strong athletic person now that I'm older and I have lived in mold and had to get out of it and working on that. I'm just more vulnerable to practically everything. So engaging my strength, um, would that be like at a certain level, uh, twice a day reaching that level, then what I think, okay, I'm there and I can increase time or um okay when how, I, how do i know when to go to another level is it if i'm okay having success twice a day just maybe standing on it and doing some stretches then i could go a little bit higher and longer um what i what i am trying to say is there's a certain amount of time that you can do per day whether it's once or twice doesn't matter as much as sort of how much is the total that you can handle per day? You have to kind of figure out what that is. Start, and that's why I recommend starting with just a little bit and see how you do. So you can increase when you're, like you do say the first day or the second or you're on the fifth day and you're doing four minutes. Uh, and then you want to watch how you feel for the next 24 hours. Okay. Because you, when you're doing the right amount of vibration, you either are going to feel better, stronger, more energized, your aches and pains are going down, your mental state is good. There could be all kinds of and any benefits. But if you're doing too much vibration, things might start to get worse instead of better. So your aches and pains could increase. You could be more tired. You might have more trouble sleeping, more anxious. Um, you know, exhausted, it's your weak link is where problems might show up when you stress your body too much. So it's not just a workout and a workout is stressful, right? Yes, but it's body, mind and spirit all at the same time and it's very intense. 10 minutes gives you the benefits of an hour of conventional weight training, right? So that tells you it's really intense. And 20 to 50 times per second, every neuron shooting signals into your brain a lot of um, waking up of your body and stress on your body. Waking up and running around in your body is stressful. It's a workout for your entire system. So 
You just want to watch yourself and see how do I feel? As long as you're feeling better or the same, because maybe you haven't yet quite gotten to the point where you're feeling better, uh, it's okay to try a little bit more. But if That's you feel very better, helpful. That's a very could be the helpful. machine. Of course, it might be that you, you know, went bungee jumping or something. <laughs> yeah. It could be something else. Yes, you maybe you ate the wrong thing. You had a really stressful event in your life. You you tried to run a mile and you're not ready for that. Could be something else too. But keep in mind that vibration is really powerful and you don't want to overdo it. It can cause problems as well. Is there any particular uh, posture for like lungs? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, so are you talking about like, like congested lungs? Yes, I, I had a, uh, I don't have a COVID type thing. I'm clear on that. But in an outpatient uh, procedure, I had my mask on and I aspirated a lot of um, throwing up. My, so my lungs, my throat have been burned and I'm trying to just heal that. Um, and I wondered if there's a certain posture of holding holding on or standing on or off that's gonna particularly concentrate maybe on my lungs just for these few days that um, I'm trying to heal yeah. that. Well, uh, what if you, I would do something where you're either standing or if you can are comfortable doing this sitting on the plate, that's gonna get, sitting especially, will get a lot of vibration into your, your upper body, right? And you might try leaning back and putting your arms behind you, breathing deeply, that's gonna get a lot of air, you know, into your lungs. Okay. Focusing your mind on that. Relaxing, sending love. Send love to your lungs too. Yeah, <laughs> and breathing. <laughs> Thank you so much, which is so helpful. Thank you, I'm glad it's helpful. How many days do you stay on one level before you increase? Okay, depends on the person. So people who are real fragile might need to stay at uh, one minute on the lowest speed for a couple of days before trying to move on to two minutes at the lowest speed. Or some people, maybe just 30 seconds. I have people who need to sit in a chair next to the plate and only put their feet on it for 30 seconds for a couple of days before they go to a minute sitting in the chair and gradually building up. You have to listen to your body. It could be anywhere from one to three to a week, uh, one, three days or a week that you stay at the level that you're at before you increase a little bit. For example, I had a, a girl who, um, she was really poor at controlling what she was eating. So she couldn't help, you can help your body and you can help your health enormously by controlling what you eat, eating, eating a healthier diet, right? She wasn't able to do that. So what we did was three times a week, she did 15 seconds of vibration. And then mm -hmm. the, after a week or two, we went to 30 seconds, three times a week. And then we went to 45 seconds. But by the end of a couple of months, she was feeling enormously better, even though she wasn't able to control what she was eating at all by going very, very slowly. So it does depend on how you feel. And every time she would come to me, because she was coming to me for the vibration, I would ask her, how did you feel the last couple of days? That's how I would decide whether to give her a little bit more or not. If she said, oh, I was exhausted, I didn't feel good, you know, then I'd say, okay, we're just gonna do 15 seconds again. But if she said, I'm feeling great, then I'd give her a little more. And oh, so get this, by the end of six months, she had lost about 30 pounds, she was beating her sisters in uh, like races. She was mowing the lawn, this huge lawn she had by herself with a push mower. Uh, it must've been a motorized mower, but she was still pushing it, you know? It was unbelievable how much stronger she got from this and she had to start really slow. I don't think she got beyond like five minutes or something, but she was still getting all those benefits. So. That's the idea. Uh, other people like Dave, who was on here. Oh my, Dave, tell him your hey. experience. He's like a superstar. What do you do? Uh, well, I've been doing 52 push-ups every morning on it because I didn't Woo! know that it was supposed to be difficult. <laughs> 
That's because you got so strong doing this, right? No, it's because I watch too much Popeye cartoons. <laughs> but you did tell me that you got a lot stronger doing this, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I do, uh, I do a lot of repairs for stores, and I have to have strong arms to pick up things. Yes. And I lost weight. Well, my pants don't fit. I have to wear a belt. <laughs> it's uh, frustrating in a, in a good way. <laughs> and um, I use it twice a day, five minutes in the morning, standing there looking at the iPhone, deleting emails. And then, oh. uh, then I do 52 push-ups, maybe 35, de depends. And then at five o'clock, I'll stand on it for a few minutes. So I'm just sort of used to it. Um, the, the big question is, uh, I looked in your book, all, all of them, Becky, they're great. Uh -huh. Where's the uh, qualifier of uh, 10 minutes equals an hour? Where does that come from? Where does that come from? Yeah. There is actually a ton of research. These machines were originally developed for uh, Olympic athletes. Right. So um, there is a lot of athletic research on these things as to how intense the workout is. And ah. there's physics equations. Ah. I think that 10 minutes equals an hour comes from a physics equation where ah. you calculate out the amount of work that you're doing when you're holding weight against vibration. Ah. And it increases dramatically. It's like, you know, mass equals E squared. I'm getting it wrong, but... <laughs> It's, it's, it's scientific, very scientific. Good, uh, good. I will say my machine's a little more gentle than the ones that um, some of this research is done on. It might be 10, 15 minutes on my machine, but uh, that's okay. It's working good for us, right? Okay, and we're good. not Olympic athletes. We don't, we're yeah. not supposed to be Olympic athletes. We're just no, we're Becky regular athletes. Regular people. Becky <laughs> athletes. Becky Vibrant athletes. health athletes. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're kind of coming up on the end here of another. One quick awesome. question. One quick question. Do okay. you do it every day or do you do it every other day? or Every day often? is fine as long as you feel good doing that. Okay, it's fine. Um, I do it. I try to do it every day. If you miss some days, though, don't worry about it, guys. It doesn't matter at all. You just keep going. But Becky, there's guys. one more question in the chat room. Is, is it okay to do vibration having varicose veins? It, it depends a little bit on how severe they are. Deep thrombosis, varicose veins, especially if there's blood clots involved, it can, you maybe know, you can't do, if you've got blood clots, you can't do vibration. You have to talk to your doctor, you have to make sure about that because if the vibration shake, will, can shake blood clots loose and send them around your body where they could get stuck in a bad place. But if it's more, um, smaller varicose veins where it's not as big a problem and there aren't blood clots, it's great for it. Should I encourage the person who asked the question to reach out to you? Uh, yeah, if you have more questions, you can email me, okay? Okay. Or send me questions on my, I have a forum, post your questions on the forum on my website or on Facebook, all great places to communicate. Right, guys, I've gotta go, my dog needs me, she's sick and she's having a problem. Great to see y'all. See you next week, Bye. I hope. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. I want to talk to the dog. Bye, guys. We love you. I love you, too. Love you, woo. <laughs>